Hey, what's up guys? This is Foryam again back with a new video. The very first one of 2022 guys. So welcome back to the channel. I hope every single one of you had an awesome new year, an awesome Christmas. So once again, I wish you all the best for this year. Today, I thought like, why not start my search already for the perfect seed, the perfect spawn pretty much for the Minecraft 1.18 SMP, which is going to be released later this month. The 4M SMP. And for that, my friends, of course, we want to have a glorious spawn. And this time, I'm going to add the Terralith data pack. So this makes the overworld of Minecraft so much more beautiful. It's 1.18 compatible and adds over 75 new biomes, which are beautiful. And guys, for that, I brought 30 randomized raw files for the Terralith 2.0.9. So we're going to check out every single one of these bad boys and search for the perfect spawn for my new multiplayer season. So guys, let's get right to it. Okay, so we're gonna start off by creating a new world. We're not gonna touch my hardcore survival. Create new world right here. Difficulty really doesn't matter, but we're gonna put this bad boy on creative data packs. So this is gonna be the first one. Bam. There we go. Let's call this one number one because we have 30 in total. But guys, if I find the perfect seed, we don't have to search through all 30. We're just going to explore the area around the spawn so we can check out what we can expect with a new season. The generation for Terralith Worlds takes a little bit longer. But for this, my friends, I definitely recommend you to get your hands on Sodium and Iris. By the way, I'm also working on a video where I explain pretty much everything you need to know. Some very awesome tools you can use in order to get the best frame rate. And of course, also fast renders in Minecraft 1.18 using Terralith. The video will be live very soon, so definitely stay tuned. Anyways, here we are on the very first seed. I can already tell that I am not a fan of this one because we have some desert mountains as well as a savanna, but that is pretty much it in the distance right there. We can also see some um, pretty nice uh, oasis uh, biome generating, which looks pretty cool to be honest. But at the same time, we have so much ocean right here. Only sand and ocean, and I think this is not really the kind of thing we're looking for for the new SP. We want to have a nice plains uh, surrounded by different types of mountains. I think that's going to be beautiful with the uh, different biomes as well. So uh, let's move on to the next one. While we're generating this world, I'm also going to add some notes. So on the first world, we had some, well, Desert mountains mainly, so um, we're just gonna call this one F. Ooh, guys, this is what I'm talking about. This already looks so much more beautiful. So basically, right here we have some tough mountains with um, a lot of snow on there. In a distance, uh, we can see a lot more generating. I'm also gonna put my render distance to let's say 30. I think that's gonna be just fine. For the streams, I always put it on. 20 because um, it can be pretty demanding on your PC. But here we go, guys. This is why we want to check out Terralith. It can have such beautiful biomes generating. And right here we have this orange huge spruce forest. Right there we also see a very nice new biome popping up with different colored trees with also a village. Wow, guys. And also look at this mountain. I'm just going to drop myself down for a second with this crazy... <laughs> this cave, this is just epic, man. Ooh, right here we have another pretty interesting cave system. This one is already pretty big, guys. Wow, but um, I just want to check out every single biome around the spawn pretty much because this is where we started, right? But then we already see the ocean very quickly. And I honestly want to have a lot of land around the spawn and it should be some kind of plains. So once again, this one looks pretty cool, but um, is not a real contester for um, the perfect spawn in 1.18. So going back to the notes, we have a dark wood forest spawn with different biomes. I would call it a sea. It was pretty cool, but um, the ocean around it was pretty meh, if you ask me. All right, guys, look at this place. This is actually very impressive. I mean, I am not a huge fan of snowy biomes but at the same time they are beautiful right uh, this is something many people will either like or dislike at the spawn so once again a very tough choice to be made and um, yes we have a lot of water surrounding the spawn so i am not really sure if we want to go for this bad boy guys seriously look at this beauty you can definitely tell that the game is taking its time to um, render in the world a little bit but um this is a huge snowy taiga biome 
In the distance we have even bigger pine trees as well as red ones. I think every single one of them looks beautiful, but um, yeah guys, that was seat number three. Okay, so here we are on seat four. As you can see, we once again spawned in a snowy taiga biome. We even have a little fox uh, right there. But um, right next to us, we actually have a little um, shrub plant, I think it's called. Let's press F3 for a second. So we have a cool shrub plant. I think they look super cool. I mean, uh, if we just go cinematical mode for a second, um, look at this place. I mean, you have um, some pretty interesting little bushes and um, they make up for a pretty awesome new biome. We also have some polar bears right there. So um, yeah, this is definitely Antarctica, guys. But at the same time, man, oh man, this place is glorious. If you are in love with um, snowy biomes in Minecraft, you should definitely check this one out yourselves as well. I will leave all the seeds in the description. You can always check them out if you want to. But um, yeah, this is pretty much it for the first biome. And oh, guys, is this actually a mushroom tower, right? Wow, guys, this is interesting. Let me just go a little bit closer for a second. Is this a mushroom biome? Let's press F3 for a second. Mushroom fields. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> Imagine if... Um, the mushrooms actually spawned on here. That would be so fantastic. But um, that was it for this seed. Very, very snowy region with mushroom tower, let's say. Um, I would call it C because it's pretty unique, but um, still not even close of what I want to have as part for the new SMP. Wow. Now that, my friends, is an entrance. Look at this place. We just spawned near some chicks in the middle of a huge wow yes this is a huge jungle biome with all those bamboos popping up that is pretty cool guys whoa yes okay this is pretty out of the ordinary right i mean i'm gonna use my cinematic camera for a second to show you guys the volcano which is kind of erupting in this little jungle area but um, you can tell that this is an evil spawn i mean we have so much popping up right here we have um, some water right there so you can actually take the boat uh, we haven't checked out the other parts yet though so um right here we have another type of um biome this one looks slightly different in comparison with um, the jungle biome it is kind of jungle still though so let's press f3 for a second so this is the Ashen savanna. Okay, that's interesting. And uh, right there we have some highlands. Man, this is just so beautiful. Anyways, um, this is not gonna be it, but you can already tell that this is a pretty impressive one. Also, this place makes up for a beautiful, a beautiful starting area, guys. If you make your own base right here, right next to the ocean, let's say, I think that would be awesome to have. Maybe even build a little zoo with pandas or something. That would be just glorious, man. And wow, guys, we even have an amethyst forest right here. So you can definitely tell that this is a beautiful spawn. We spawn around these parts. We also have, of course, uh, the volcano erupting right there. So many different things popping up at the very spawn. I would definitely give this one a B, not an A yet, because I really want to have those high mountains around the spawn. So um, if you want to check this one out, once again, it is in the description, number five. Number six. All right, let's uh, take off once again. So uh, we just spawned in a pretty basic highlands biome with also a little bit of savanna. Stones are generated in a pretty funky pattern, pretty funky colors if you ask me. But at the same time, this is not really what I'm looking for. I mean, um, it is a nice place, but at the same time, not much is going on. We only have some highlands and uh, would be perfect, I guess, for a place uh, to start sailing away from. Because we have so much water forming around us. But at the same time, yeah, I'm just going to skip this one right off the bat. Because this one doesn't look very interesting. Number seven, guys. So we just spawned on this little island. Oh, never mind. It's not an island. So uh, basically we have different colors of uh, spruce trees. This is pretty much the forested highlands. I think it looks beautiful, especially with the with the red trees, because this is definitely a place to visit, right? I mean, it would be awesome to make your very own starter base right here. But at the same time, we had the ocean right next to us when we spawned. So I am not really interested in this seed. If you want to check it out, yo, it's in the description. Alors, numéro 8. Here we go, guys. So we just spawned 
on this little place. And uh, as you can see, we have a lot of stuff popping up around us. Once again, the red trees and um, yeah, man, the sun is shining bright. Awesome stuff, but um, we are really looking for that Yellowstone mountain peak, right? And maybe we can find something beautiful. Uh, so I think that is already ocean, so um, a big meh. But um, I think this still is a pretty cool starting area. And wow, we even have a little village right there. Sorry once again for the slow rendering, but um, we are doing a record of 4K at the same time. So um, you can tell that this is already a pretty big village. Maybe we should... Check it out for a second. Rate for some loot. Maybe you can find some pretty awesome uh, diamonds down here, right? Wow, well, we didn't find anything, so GG. A first village, then also a second one right here, as well as a nether portal, which is pretty cool. And as you can see, the land just keeps going and going, but we have a lot of ocean around us as well. So this is not going to be it, guys. All right, here we go, number nine. So uh, we just spawned in the middle of a huge icy biome. Wow, guys, this is pretty interesting. So um, we have some red and green taiga spruce trees right there, but um, a lot of icy spikes. And um, I think these always look so cool. If you find them on your survival world, guys, they are so impressive, right? Let's just uh, fly down right here for a second and um, see how beautiful this place is generated. So um, we have the ice spike hills. Um, the river is actually entirely frozen all the way up to here. And um, we even have a little village right there. Wow, guys, that is awesome. And this is, well, <laughs> not the most welcome place to uh, enter. But um, guys, look at these dead shrubs. They look beautiful, right? Another place kind of claustrophobic. I mean, from the exterior, it looks pretty big, but um, it actually isn't. Once again, activating the cinematical camera, you can tell that this is a beautiful place. I think um, it's an awesome village location. And uh, we just keep turning around and oh, guys, look at that. We found another village. This one does have a chest, so um, some more snacks as well as a flower. Nothing too impressive, really. So this was a pretty cool spawn, right? But at the same time, I kind of miss it, man. I am really looking for that perfect seat. So let's continue our journey. Okay, what a surprise. We are on number 10. <laughs> we once again get a snowy bio. But this one, ooh, looks pretty cool. So right here, we already have this uh, beautiful mountain range with um, the icy peaks popping out of the ocean, which is beautiful. But uh, if we turn around, guys, we actually spawn right next to a village. Some houses are a little bit more difficult to get access to, but um, I really dig this vibe. I mean, you also have a pretty big ravine right here, which can possibly protect pillagers for raids. But um, then we also have this little house with even more empty maps. Pretty similar like the previous one. Anyways, guys, um, in the distance, I think we can see some redstone mountains. This is a biome also exclusive to um, Terralith. And ooh, look at this cave system, guys. I want to check it out for a second. Look at this place. Wow, we even have some um, glow berries down there. I'm just going to have a quick peek, a quick sneak peek of what's in here. So well, this is a pretty small, pretty claustrophobic place. But um, if we find the perfect seat, guys, we're also going to do some caving. As you can see, this one is already pretty impressive. We even have a glow squid chilling all the land right here. Even more fly <laughs> glow squids. Unique experience, guys. Only on 4 a.m. And yeah, boy, the first diamonds. So um, you always want to go caving below the zero, right? I mean, the lower you go, the higher the chances of finding them diamonds. And um, I also have a pretty neat trick for you guys to get your hands on diamonds super fast. And wow, what was that right there? I think um, we had some pretty crazy stuff popping up. Let's uh, press F3 and N, go into spectator mode because... <gasps> Whoa, seriously, bro. Look at this generation, this cave generation. There is so much popping up around us. Wow, I, I honestly don't have... A clue where to look at first and this one even got generated with uh, some glow berries inside the amethyst geodes this is just epic so back in creative mode i quickly want to check out these red mountains because i think i'm almost certain that this is the redstone biome so there you go you basically have redstone or popping out on the surface 
on pretty high Y level. So I think this is a pretty cool biome. And um, if we just fly around a little bit more, we can tell that we also have some shrimp lands right there with uh, some dead trees, even more snowy biomes. Honestly, this is a little bit too much snow for me, but uh, we actually found a second village right here as well. So um, definitely a pretty promising seat if you want to check it out yourselves as well. But um, let's move on to the next one. All right, so let's do a quick summary before we continue. After recording for almost an hour, we basically covered 10 different random Terralith seats on Minecraft 1.18. Three times in a row, a double village. Pretty impressive, right? Last one, though, was definitely the most interesting with the redstone mountains and the epic cave generation. I give it a C because it's still not even close of what I want to find. We only found one B so far, which was with the jungle and a volcano. Pretty awesome spawn, if you ask me. Oh, yeah, guys. Of course, if you enjoyed the video so far, definitely make sure to hit that like button. It helps my channel out big time. So already very much appreciate it and of course if you are new here don't hesitate to subscribe it is entirely free a lot more is coming your way anyways let's move on to number 11 i hear some sheep guys i hear some sheep okay <laughs> yes they are definitely here so um let's just fly up high in the sky once again so yeah, this is basically the Yellowstone type of um, world generation that I'm looking for. I mean, look at this place. It's just beautiful. But um, we also have a lot of water still. So I'm not really sure if this is the kind of spawn that I want to have for the next SMP. Um, this is a huge place to do some ice skating. I love it. But um, there is just a little bit too much water, I guess. Wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. Before we go to the next one, guys, I think I see something interesting right here. So basically, we spawned down there with the sheep, right? Well, right here, we actually have a little village tucked away. This one actually reminds me a little bit of the Minecraft Dungeons camp. I mean, you also have this base camp overlooking uh, some plains and mountain ranges, as well as the many trees. I think it looks pretty cool, but um, yeah, let's move on to the next one. Number 12, launching in the sky once again. And wow, this is nice. We have so much popping up right here, guys. Different biomes, a huge plain, so it's easy to find north, the west, the east, and the south. So um, this one actually looks pretty interesting. You can see that we have a lot of highlands right here and um, a lot of ocean as well. Ooh, okay. So yeah, you have so much to do. And we even have a little mushroom right there. What's the mushroom doing here? I think this is a mushroom cave, guys. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the mushroom caves, uh, which are also introduced with the Terralith data pack exclusive. So uh, if we press F3 for a second, you can see uh, fungal caves. So um, you have a lot of these shrubs hanging from um, the ceiling. And of course, these skeletons are just chilling. I'm not really sure what they're doing. They are actually trying to stay one and a half meters apart, guys. Stay away from COVID. <laughs> no, but seriously, um, the fungal caves are so beautiful. We just flew through this um, little mob spawner, but um, down there we also have a uh, mine shaft. So yeah, guys, this one is pretty cool. So yeah, this is a pretty interesting cave system, right? I mean, there is so much going on. You can tell that uh, the fungal caves, they just keep going and going. Anyways, back to the surface, you can tell that this was an interesting one to uh, showcase, especially the fungal caves, which were huge, but um, I'm still missing some variety on um, the overworld, on the, um, the surface, let's say. So um, I hope to find that one on the next one. Oh boy, number 13. Anyways, I am really looking forward to checking this one out as well. All right, here we go. I am actually pretty curious. Wow, though. <laughs> sheesh. I would say, guys, sheesh. This is kind of what I'm looking for all the time. I mean, this literally looks perfect to me at first glance. Wow, man, look at this generation right here. This looks so cool. And um, yeah, I really wouldn't call this one 13. I mean, this is probably the best seed we've seen so far. And we're just getting started. I mean, we have different spruce or taiga uh, trees, pine trees, whatever you want to call them. I really dig this place. I really do. Let's just enjoy the moment for a second. Wait for the world to generate. Yeah, man. All I can say is this is exactly 
what I was looking for. We didn't even mention the nether portal, which we can see right in the center down there with um, my shadow. But uh, if we turn around for a second, you can tell that it just keeps going and going. All those different spruce or taiga trees. We also have this geyser generation every now and then in between. And if we go a little bit further right there, we also have the um, dark oak or dark wood forest with um, orange trees. Wow, man, this is pretty unique. Also a pretty big river separating these different biomes. I think um, all this looks beautiful. Here's another shot which uh, just got rendered. So basically um, a lot of different biomes on the left, the dark oak forest, some birch trees right in front of us as well. And in the distance, we can see the Yellowstone which faces towards the spawn. <gasps> no way! No way, guys. This just happened. No way. This is at the spawn, guys. I just turned around for a second and finally saw this one generating. Um, guys, seriously, we just found mansion very close to spawn. If we F3 for a second, seriously. Um, this is at 700 minus 500. So um, that is almost near the spawn, pretty much. And uh, I just want to fly a little bit closer to the spawn itself because uh, we haven't seen anything yet, guys. I mean, there is so much more probably. Yes, uh, right there, we have a little village. Man, this is just perfect. We have a village, we have a mansion in the distance. So um, there is pretty much everything we need already, right? We have villagers, we have the illagers or pillagers. Oh, guys, look at that. We found another portal right there. Beautiful. We're gonna check it out in a second, but uh, I first want to check out the chest. So we have a leather tunic. Actually shouldn't spoil all this because if this happens to become um, the seed which we're gonna use for um, the next season, <laughs> then we've seen too much already, guys. So yeah, let me just quickly check out the portal chest because I am just super curious. We've got a Curse of Vanishing. Fortune 3 Golden Shovel, guys, with a lot of gold and some obsidian. I think that can be awesome for your um, starting adventures on this very seed. Uh, then we have a huge plane, so possibly a pretty interesting place to hunt for animals or um, tame some um, horses which you can use. But this really reminds me of the Lord of the Rings. The two towers in particular, I mean, I love that movie. The scenery, probably filmed in New Zealand, is one of the most beautiful um, movie places. And um, yeah, I really can't wait to explore these parts, guys. Turning around, we have another village right here generating in a blink of an eye, which is really nice. Uh, once again, in the middle of the village, we get another nether portal. So this is hands down, guys, the most beautiful seed we've seen so far. So yeah, guys, we basically spent the entire Minecraft day exploring this very first seed. We haven't even seen most of the caves. Um, if we go down, I think um, it can be interesting to check them out for a second. We have diamonds. At the very spawn, we have um, amethyst geodes, uh, many different cave systems with a lot of lava. So um, I think this is an awesome place to check out. Maybe we should even do that uh, when we're making like a new character, exploring this area together. I think that would be an awesome idea. Anyways, that was it for the very first cave. And wow, this is a big one. This is all underwater, guys. Okay, I've seen enough right now. I think uh, this is hands down number uno. We're gonna give it a double or even a triple A. Let's move on to the next one. All right, number 14. <laughs> Already pretty interesting at the start, right? I mean, we have some drowned zombies getting burned right off the bat. This is pretty cool. I mean, we've got some runes generating on the very sands and um, we should also have some treasure down here. Let's see. So uh, we have a little empty map with the stone axe. Could be useful for your very first adventures, but at the same time quite useless as well as all this loot right here. Then um, we have another empty map with some wheat and coal. Lure one fishing rod. Nice. We probably have even more if we just keep uh, scanning the area. But um, here we even have a little shipwreck, guys. So um, basically this is the spawn. Oh, no way, guys. Seriously, this is where we spawned. Um, it's actually an island, a very small island. And right here, we have floating icy islands. Wow, man, I've, I have never seen these before. So basically, we've got a village right there and we've got icy, snowy skylands. I think these are like one of the rarest things which you can find with this new um, data pack. Let's uh, press F3 for a second and uh, check it out. Winter Skylands. Whoa, bro, I'm blown away. Guys, this is literally Skylands on steroids. I mean, they just keep 
generating in. And you're in for a treat because behind me, behold, we just found a huge mushroom biome. Oh man, a huge mushroom island. I think this is something many people would love to have near their spawn as well. I mean, if you find something this big, you can share it with pretty much everyone on the server. I mean, it's big enough to house so many different bases. And um, we even have some different trees popping up right here. I'm not really sure why, but um, this is pretty cool, right? Okay, okay, it does stop, but it's huge, guys. And we didn't even mention the portal yet, which you can find right next to it. So, I mean, if you want to teleport to this bad boy, you'll be able to get here in no time. Anyways, teleporting back to the spawn, we of course uh, saw the Skylands generating in um, the air, but um, we also have this little village exactly right next to us, which is pretty cool. I mean, this one generated with a different biome and around it, we have a lot of snow popping up. So I think this is a pretty cool place. Also, um, the Iron Golem is just chilling in this little cavey area, man, and it just keeps going. So this is basically the first big mainland which we see popping up right next to the spawn and that's pretty much where your adventures begin but i mean if we just look at the rest of this place we even have a beautiful cave system right in front of us but um even more beautiful places are generating right next to us i mean look at this place it is simply beautiful definitely make sure to check it out yourselves as well the seat is in the description all right so we just spawned on seat 15 guys this is basically a huge snowy taiga and even though I think it's not gonna be something for the SMP you can tell that it conceals everything around it because of its size so it can be something very interesting to play on if you're looking for a pretty hardcore experience let's say. In the distance we have some pretty big mountain peaks popping up I think this is a beautiful area but um, let's move on to the next one. All right, numero 16, seed 16, guys. We once again spawned in a little plains biome. And I always like these because um, you have the villages, first of all, which we can see right there. We see the sun shining and it's very easy to tell north, east, west and south. And uh, wow, behind us, we have this huge lake. Looks pretty cool. We even have a dolphin swimming right there. But um, yeah, I'm not really sure if this is the kind of thing we're looking for. I really like the location of the village though. This is a pretty realistic spawn. I mean, it's nothing too crazy. Uh, we have different biomes around us. Uh, right there we have the um, birch taiga, I think it's called. Then we have some other type of birch trees. We have a huge hole in the ground right here. Let's just uh, check it out for a second. Maybe it's a huge cave system. Hmm, disappointing. Look at this place, my friends, my dudes. My amigos, this is a dripstone cave, very close to spawn, and um, you can tell that this is a big one. Looks pretty cool, right? So, yeah, long story short, I think this is a pretty cool, realistic spawn. If you're looking for something like that, this one is gonna be for you. But I'm looking for something a little bit more adventurous with a lot of variety. So, let's move to the next seat. 17, here we go, guys. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we basically spawned on this little uh, mountain top and uh, it's a pretty unique uh, biome as well. Let's press F3 for a second. So this is the Savannah Badlands. You can tell that uh, there are a lot of different clay colors. But yeah, guys, I think that's about it. I mean, the world is still generating around me, but um, I don't see us playing on a map with this as spawn. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love the biome. I think it would be awesome to explore something like this. A little bit further away from the spawn, like a couple thousand blocks away. But um, this is not really the place when you think about a perfect spawn, right? Yeah, grass is tickling in my face on seat number 18. Anyways, let's start exploring the place. So basically, we spawn on a little island. I really like this place. I mean, you have pretty much all different ores you need. You've got some iron, some copper, some... Um, coal and trees of course. I think it's the perfect place to start a hardcore survival adventure on Terralith. Nevertheless though, if we fly away from the spawn, you can tell that we have some pretty interesting mountain ranges generating right here as well. Anyways, that's where our starting island was. If we go more inland, we um, finally got this stuff generating. Well, um, there is so much to look forward to if you're gonna explore this place. 
It looks super cool, but once again, I think um, this is not for us. So yeah, nothing too fancy, but at the same time, I really love the different colors. The flora variation pretty much on this seat. Make sure to check it out. Anyways, let's move on to the next one. Ah, that's been a while. Seat number 19 once again brings us to the icy spike biomes with, of course, our beloved polar bear friends. But um, I think this is pretty much it. Let's uh, give the world some time to generate. We also have a shipwreck turned sideways right here. Wow, man. Basically a huge spiky biome with ice. On the left, we have another uh, shipwreck. But um, if we turn around for a second, we can see some uh, forest generating behind us as well, which make up for an epic hardcore map once again. I think that would be a super awesome idea to start a hardcore adventure on this very seat. But once again, not something I think we need for our very own spawn. On to the next one. Number 20 already. Man, oh man, I can't wait to check this one out either. But um, yeah, we once again spawn on a very little island. This time, a little gravel island. And uh, we've got a very vast ocean right next to us. You can see uh, a dolphin swimming right there, as well as an ocean monument. But um, yeah, man, I don't know. This looks pretty cool. We also have some different biomes popping up. And ooh, look at that. But the way how this village just got generated on the mountain, I think that is beautiful. And once again, near my shadow, we have a portal to the underworld. I think this is a pretty cool starting place as well. And a highlands biome, oh man, connecting us with a very big area. And oh, we have another village right there. And um, as you can see, so much more is popping up right here with the world generation. After that, we have uh, some savannah, but this my friends, is a pretty impressive cave system. I mean, wow. Just wow. Look at how deep down this goes, literally, man. If we are currently on the minus 16 already with only this main hall and we just accidentally took a screenshot. But um, as you can see, this just keeps going and going. And oh yeah, baby. Right here, we have this new type of um, cave generation. It's called um, the Mantle Caves. And yeah, man, with F3 enabled, you can see that there is so much lava down here. On this side, we also have some lush caves. Not just some lush caves, guys. There is a ton of it. Wow. This one in particular is a pretty big place. I always recommend you guys to go into spectator mode for a second because it allows you to find some pretty epic places. Like, for example, this little um, mine shaft, which we just explored. I mean, there is so much to check out right here. I love this underground uh, generation. Anyways, going back to the surface, you can tell that um, the spawn is a little bit too basic for my liking. Uh, not too much going on in a very huge, oh, ocean. But uh, this is once again another type of uh, Skylands, guys. I think, my friends, this is Glowberries. So basically, we found some skylands with glowberries hanging down there. But guys, we're gonna check out this biome for a second because I am super curious to check this one out as well. We even have some cacti. So if we press F3 right here, we have summer skylands. So this is once again a unique biome to the Terrorless data pack. And right there, we even have some amethyst trees as well. So let's check out this island. Basically two different skyland biomes were generated right next to each other. This is the spring skyland. So you have two different uh, seasons already and right there maybe we can find even more guys well that's basically it for the skylands but still super impressive to see new seasons popping up on these just like um, the frosted skylands which we saw earlier big shout out to uh, stardust labs for making this awesome data pack i think we can all agree they make minecraft 1.18 so much more beautiful Oh boy, that's already 20 seeds checked out. So from 11 to 20, 13 was hands down the best one. Whoop whoop, me likey very much mentions triple A. And then on 14, we had some snowy skylands. Uh, the summer skylands we, we just checked out were pretty cool, but the snowy skylands guys with the huge mushroom island, I think also definitely deserves an A. The rest is a C or an F because I think they weren't super impressive. Nevertheless though, if you want to check them out yourselves, they are in the description. Ooh, spicy. We spawned in the middle of a jungle with seat 21 and at the same time we also have some spruce trees popping up right next to us. I mean, if we have three, you can tell that this is the Bryce Canyon. Oh yeah, that's what it was called. 
Bryce Canyon and Yellowstone, they are truly magnificent biomes. And what I really like is we also found some disco mountains. I mean, I always love to check these bad boys out on a survival roll because they are pretty rare to stumble upon, but um, they are sitting right next to the spawn, which is great. Of course, in the distance, the world is still generating. So uh, let's continue our search for some epic places. A little bit further away from the spawn, we also have these bad boys popping up. They are pretty rare to find, guys. Probably the first time we're finding them near the spawn. Anyways, if you like deserts, if you like disco mountains, this seat is probably something for you. Nevertheless, though, let's get on to the next one. Okay, once again, spawning in a plains biome on seat number 22 with a lot of water around us and a village right next to us on this little mountain peak. Wow, man, this is hands down the most epic village generation which we've seen so far. Look at this little cave. No, but guys, seriously, Yellowstone is such a beautiful biome to find in uh, Terralith Minecraft 1.18. But uh, yeah, the world is still generating on the right side, but you can tell that this is a beautiful scenery. I mean, look at all these different trees popping up, the vibrant orange and green. I think um, it looks awesome. Unfortunately, though, this is not really where we spawned. It was exactly right there. And um, the village is pretty much only what we have near the spawn. And most of it is water. So um, I think this is not really going to be it. Let's move on to the next one. All right, here we go. Numero 23, number 23. We spawned in a pretty interesting place. But um, if we go away from the spawn a little bit, guys, yeah, seriously, look at this place. Wow, just wow. Basically, this is a jungle type of biome, but at the same time, we also have these volcanic beaches. So uh, if we press F3 for a second, you can see that it's called tropical jungle. And um, I think jungles are always tropical, but um, seriously, that's what it's called. Anyways, this is what the spawn looks like. I think it's beautiful. Definitely, if we can find something like a village around these parts, it would make it even more interesting. Once again, I think a very nice place for a hardcore survival world. Okay, seat number 24. We uh, apparently just spawned on a pretty big dark orc or dark wood forest right next to the ocean. So you can tell there is a lot of water right there. But um, we have different islands with different biomes. I think this looks pretty cool. And then we also have these beautiful taiga mountains. I mean, Look at this river separating the two lands in two. I think uh, this is just glorious. But um, yeah, we want to go and check out the rest of this place as well, right? So we have a lot of forest, many, many trees right there. We also see some snowy peaks popping up. So I just let the lands generate a little bit. And as you can see, this is pretty much it. I mean, we've got some pretty cool different biomes popping up right next to the coast, but um, that is about it. Or well, that is what you would say. If we turn around 180 degrees, guys, look at this bad boy. A beautiful Disco Mountains peak biome once again. This one is definitely something else. I mean, look at the way how it is generated. It's basically a castle on its own, a natural generated castle. I think this one looks beautiful. And also, I think one of the unique biomes to Terralith. So let's press F3 right here. As you can see, this one is called the Warped Mesa. And this, my friends, is pretty much the only thing that's in the ocean. So I think it's pretty cool. We have some more things popping up a little bit further away. But I think that's pretty much it for seat number 24. 25 in the middle of a birch forest, guys. Right here we have... Oh, we've got another Skylands. Beautiful. Right next to the spawn. So once again, you can tell that this is a beautiful Skylands biome. Let's uh, double check this one once again. So uh, we're going to press F3. And um, this one is called the Skylands Spring. So yeah, we've already found this one a little bit earlier. But um, nevertheless, it's a beautiful place to check out. And we have another island right there. Oh yeah, baby, look at the size of this one. It is so small. I think it's going to be awesome to build a little mage tower on top of this bad boy. 
Anyways, if we look around for a second, you can tell that we've got some pretty nice plains right there. Many different biomes. We've got a uh, forest, we've got some plains, we've got a savanna, then another type of trees right there as well as a village. So nah, we didn't really find anything inside the village. Only some pieces of leather armor, nothing too fancy. I would even feel bad for robbing the villagers from those. I mean, then they literally have nothing in there. Anyways, a pretty cool place to explore, right? But um, I am most fan of, of course, that bad boy right there. Let's check out the other side of the ocean. This is what we have. We've got some plains, some taiga, forests, spruce trees, pine trees, whatever you want to call them. And um, a lot of plains with uh, many, many oak trees in the distance as well. So um, this is a really nice spot, especially this one right there with the geysers in the middle of the lake. Uh, if we fly a little bit further away right there, we can find um, the spring skylands once again. And I think this is where we spawn pretty much. So once again, a nice seat but not what we're looking for. All right, seed 26. We basically just spawned in the middle of um, a swamp. Yeah, that's what it's called. And right next to us, oh, this is pretty cool, guys. We've got a um, stalagmite mountain or something. Let's uh, check out what it's called. So basically, this is the stony spires biome of uh, the Terralith data pack. We also even have some emeralds right there. So um, you can tell that this mountain is probably filled with riches and uh, then we have these nice uh, red and green uh, taiga trees we've got um, some red hanging moss right here as well and wow man seriously this cave system and i wanted to use the cinematical camera for this one because look how beautiful this place is i mean seriously this cave system with the shaders it makes the scenery just look beautiful and i think i found another pretty interesting cave system right here yeah, guys, this is another stalactite, stalactite environment, but this time, of course, we have a cave, and boy, oh boy, this is a big one. Oh my, look at all these ore shining, and definitely makes it look even more interesting. Right here, once again, a breathtaking shot of the lavender trees and the different biomes, and oh, in the distance, we also have a little fire going on. So yeah, I think that is pretty much it for the spawn of number 26. You can definitely tell that this was a beautiful one. Definitely make sure to check it out in the description. Anyways, on to the next one. Okay, seed 27 is something different. We spawned in the middle of a snowy biome with uh, some goats. So you can tell that this is a uh, snowy hills biome. And um, I, th I pretty much like the looks of this one. I mean... Oh, wow. Yes, this is what I'm talking about. So if we just spin around for a second, you can tell that uh, the Yellowstone just keeps generating in the distance. Probably one of the most beautiful worlds at the spawn. Too bad, though, there is a lot of snow. So I think uh, we're still going to stick with a world like the number 13 or 14. Once again, a beautiful shot right here just got rendered. So basically, even more of the Yellowstone, my hands down favorite biome. Anyways, if we move away from the Yellowstone for a second, we can see even more different biomes popping up right here. Right there, we've got a shipwreck. So um, yeah, this is once again pretty epic stuff, guys. I'm going to toggle my sim cinematical camera once again. If you haven't seen enough yet of the Terralith data pack, well, guys... Look at this. I mean, uh, we have some huge snowy plains right here. We've got um, some icy spikes right there, as well as some pretty epic caves. And um, yeah, there is literally no end to this world generation. And um, we've got some huge ravines here and there. So um, probably the most beautiful naturally generated world we've seen so far. I will definitely give this one a triple A as well, because it's um, one of my favorites in this series. Nice! 28 once again brings us to the jungle, to the volcanic jungle islands, and this time, yes, we spawn on, well, it's not really an island, it's um, connected to the lands, but as you can see, guys, this is once again a beautiful scenery. I wasn't really able to find anything else that could make this seed anything more interesting than it already is as spawn. I mean, it's beautiful with the jungle, but that's basically it. We didn't find anything else, so um, yeah, a very cool place if you love jungles, but that's about it. 29? Wow, man, we're getting really close to the finish line. All right, so here we have another pretty special seed. I mean, look at this place. Right here, we have only 
one house. This is probably the smallest vi village which we've seen so far. And uh, this one does have two emeralds, some potatoes, so I think it's perfect to start farming. And maybe, oh yeah, baby, we can actually find even more. This village is definitely something special. Look at those layers, man. The different places where these houses are generated, especially also that tree in the middle. I think that marketplace is pretty epic. But as always, I am super curious if we can find some special loot up here. I mean, uh, we've got a blacksmith, right? Sometimes there is some serious treasure. This time, though, only some iron and bread. But um, yeah, I really like this place, especially at the start of this world. Simple, yet pretty interesting. I mean, it has many things which are going to be very useful for your adventures early game. And if we turn around for a second, you don't only see the shipwreck, but also a nether portal right there. So that concludes seed number 29. Okay, so we're currently generating world number 30, the final seed in this series. Really looking forward to um, making a decision for the spawn very soon for season three for the Minecraft 1.18 SMP. So um, guys, if you are new to the channel, definitely make sure to stay tuned. I mean, you should check it out. I think it's going to be very awesome to play multiplayer, to play Terralith 1.18 together with you guys. Anyways, looks like um, the loading is ready. And wow, once again, a beautiful spawn. Honestly, I wasn't really sure what to expect, but this once again is a beautiful scenery, right? Anyways, we already found so many gems, so many beautiful seeds, and uh, this is the final one of them. Let's uh, do some flying once again, now that uh, the world has started to generate a little bit. So basically, we've got uh, some dead forest. That tree right there also looks beautiful. Let's check it out for a second. I mean, this is a bigger tree, also unique to the Terralith data pack. Um, the trees are sometimes so epic. I mean, uh, look at this one right here. This place is also pretty unique. I mean, you see all those trees. It looks like a burnt forest. There are barely any leaves on the trees themselves. So uh, you can tell that this place has been stripped big time. Right here, we have a huge ocean filled with glaciers. Once again, a beautiful place with um, polar bears. But uh, can you also see what I see, guys? It is right there, right in front of us. Oh my, look at this. I mean, it spawned right in the middle of this crazy formation. Look at this. Right in the middle of the ocean, we've got this crazy, crazy ocean monument with, of course, the gardens. I think this one looks beautiful as well, especially with the shaders, guys, once again. So, um, yeah, I think that pretty much concludes seat number 30. I thought this was a pretty special place, though. Okay, so guys, that was it. 30 seats on Minecraft 1.18 with the Terralith data pack installed. Lost world save was 1810 and we pretty much started at um, 1420. So you can tell that I spent quite some time researching and checking out these seats. So of all 30 seats, I think I love the spawn of number 13 and 14 the most. I mean, the mansion popping up very close to spawn was insane, as well as the beautiful world generation. Of 14, we have these snowy skylands with a huge mushroom island. Definitely awesome to get your hands on. But um, I think if we want to focus on something for the SMP, some real SMP material, the beautiful naturally generated Yellowstone and snowy biomes were definitely triple A as well. So I think the top two are 13 and 27. Of course, I also love to know your thoughts. Which biomes do you think are hands down the most beautiful ones in this series? Let me know in the comments down below and of course also like each other's comments so we can check them out on the live stream or maybe even make a full video for those bad boys so we can pretty much decide which seed we want to go with for season 3 for the 4am SMP. Guys, a big thanks for watching. Definitely make sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed watching this one and of course if you are new to the channel don't hesitate to subscribe there is so much more coming your way so many more videos but also live streams pretty much live streaming five times a week at least on monday tuesday wednesday thursday and friday and of course if you like to be part of the community we have a discord with over 5,000 members definitely make sure to check it out the link is in the description as well guys big thanks for watching i'll see you very soon with another video or live stream honestly i can't wait to release my second video of 2022 guys till next time peace